Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. All right, guys, we have a new series this week and a special video for you today, in which case uh, one of our moderators, Sam Hajal, does daily recaps now and live trades. And today he has a live trading daily recap of making $1,000 in 30 minutes on the ticker symbol WORK, W-O-R-K, and his thought process with it. And while today is just a preview of the full length video, if you want to watch the full length or any of our exclusive content, then become an MIC member. So I'm going to summarize the process that Bao teaches and, and has taught all of us uh, to be able to use in our own trading and help simplify things for you. So above all that we teach is having a proper process is the most important thing. Not having uh, A plus setups or anything like that, being able to figure out which setup is more ideal than the other, that comes down to a process, not a setup per se, if that makes any sense. So I'm just going to walk you through a simple process, okay, that you need to do every time you see a ticker pop up on your scanner that meets the criteria of something that's gapping enough. Usually, we like to see something that's gapping like more than 30%. That's usually when there's enough meat on the bone. Basically, if there is something that has a dollar worth of range, it's from the previous close to the high is a dollar, right? It's currently trading like 20 cents off the high or maybe it's extended a dollar, whatever it is. We want to be able to make at least, you know, 20 to 30 cents a share. So how easy would that be to make 20 to 30 cents a share on a dollar worth of range? It would be pretty easy per se. It's going to be a lot more difficult when the stock is literally only up 20 or 30 cents and you're trying to squeeze the entire range out of the stock. So that is what we mean by enough meat to the death. So... Either way, it's very difficult to trade them without volatility, and usually on highly institutionally owned stocks, something greater than about 40%, it's going to get really, really tough to trade it, okay? Short float percentage, the lower it is, the less odds uh, of squeeze, so if you're long, you're going to want a short float percentage uh, higher than maybe like 10% to at least have potential to be a squeezer. So, uh, shorts, we're going to want to see something under 10, ideally under 20. But now that we have these little share structure ideas, we're going to go down, we're going to verify that there's a catalyst. On day one, this would be September 26th. This would be the day that it runs. Here's the news. It's got a catalyst, clinical validations for IV cell and heme, hema screen, hema, 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 hema. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Um, we just want to verify it has a catalyst. The reason why we want to verify it has a catalyst is because if you're going long and there is no catalyst and the stock is up 50, 80, 100%, SEC could come in and halt the stock requesting more information. And they'll request, why is your stock price up? The company could respond, I don't know. The, it says right here, has a recent... S1. If you do not know what an S1 is, write this down right now to go watch Chicago's fundamental series. Okay, He discusses all things fundamental to be able to understand what these companies do and how that they 
uh, screw investors every day and the things to look out for if you're a long trader, okay? So, has a recent S1. That means it has a recent shelf registration, okay? Let me just give you a picture here real quick. We got a PR, okay? First thing I'm going to do is go to the most recent 10Q and I'm going to verify the shares outstanding. Shares outstanding are 6 million as of August 6th, okay? Now remember, Finviz, what did they say the shares outstanding were? 7 million, okay? What's the difference there? Why is there a difference? <clears throat> so, there's an offering that was done on August 21st, right here. Okay, between August 6th and November, or I'm sorry, November, wow, what month am I in? September 26th, there was an offering right here, 424B, that's an offering, that's a prospectus, 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 I can't say it. So, you also need to read these shelf registrations because in the, there will be there will sometimes be an explanatory note that shows you the uh, that sometimes there are two parts to the shelf. There is a sales agreement and then there is the shelf registration itself. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC Joining MIC, maybe you're a member already. You have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media. You can hit me through PMs and chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.